G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Um, back out on the Billman track, just for a couple of hours walk. But I've loaded my pack up to about 90% of what I need for when I get back out on the Billman track next week. I am only carrying one litre of water at the moment. When I get out there I'll be carrying at least two. And it all depends on the uh, conditions of the weather, whether I take a third one or not. If the temperatures are up in the high 20s into the 30s, then I'll carry a third litre of water just in case. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, when I get to the shelter I'm heading to, I'll take you through what I've added to my pack, as in the sense of uh, pouches and basically what I'll be carrying with me. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but going from that tree in the centre of the screen up to this group of trees, which is what's that one, two, three, four, it's about nine metres between, is a spider's web. And sitting in the middle of it is the actual spider. So, oh, I've got within one and a half, two metres. And of course the web coming out to the ground, but can you see him? Isn't he beautiful? And that is a he. Sorry mate, made him jump. Because he's got the longer, slimmer bum on him. And the females, no disrespect to females, the females have got uh, larger round or bulbous bombs on them. He's just jumping around now and creeping down. I think he's checking his web, see if I broke it. Uh, yeah, I've taken a step right back, but his is about, it was about three inches in length. Uh, no, maybe a bit bigger, three to four inches in length he was. I love spiders, I do, as you could probably tell. But it's not everybody's like. shelter so here's the pack the actual pack itself is the helicon Tex bushcraft range bergen and that's a 18 litre pack that's just for the main compartment in here then you've got your three pouches which they haven't included on the measurements for the literage so i reckon that you're going to be getting another three and a half to five litres with these three packs on the outside but for doing a multi-day you can do it if you want to rough it and use a minim uh, minimalist but I choose the in between between the minimalist, the ultralight and the heavy stuff so I suppose I could make a pack up a lot lighter than this by going the lightweight but at the shelter or at camp I wouldn't be as comfortable so that's why I've gone the way I have so if, if somebody says you can do lighter great let me know how but if I can do lighter and more comfortable that's great 
but if I have to go lighter and less comfortable to me that doesn't make sense at the moment as you can see on the front here I've got two mini med kit pouches everything on here in sense of pack and pouches are from Helicon Tex there's a couple which are the urban ones which are these these are the urban range and on the front I'll show you them is the urban range but most of the rest are from the bushcraft range all these extra pouches so first first aid kit this is just a basic first aid in here I've got room to add a few bits more and this is the Helicon Tech mini med kits on this side in this first aid kit is my snake bite kit my compression bandages and a few small bits so being here in Australia the chance of snakes is a lot higher than most countries not all countries but most countries what I'm carrying in the front pouch is my let's get there In there's few bits my ridge line uh, some guy lines in there and I've got the 3x3 super light tarp which can be used as a shelter on the ground or a frame above a hammock or a frame on the ground in different shapes and formations and the mozzies are very friendly today I think they're getting hungry anywhere else on the bottom here I have the DD under blanket because I'll be carrying my hammock with me but that can be used if when I go to ground if need to be to make it even warmer on top on top of the top quilt I've got inside so that's just strapped to the bottom of the pack out of the way uh, weight wise probably 800 850 grams if you're wondering how heavy that is so with that and the top quilt about the same as a decent sleeping bag On this side, I have my gear sling. I have a poncho for when it gets wet. I've got my poop scoop and pegs in there. And I've got my small multi tool hammer for hitting pegs in or if I need it for anything else. Let's put all this away. Back in. Then we go down the front in the space between. And there's still actually room in this type of pouch. And I can press that one down, I can get more things in there if need needed. On the opposite side, in this one. I've got my Sawyer Mini for filtering water when needed and also my Crop Kit which I'll quickly show you if you haven't seen it before now my Crop Kit does change every now and then depending on the time of the year or what type of uh, hike I'm doing whether it's a long distance one or a day or overnighter I've got my pot support my 100ml gas cylinder there I have my spoon which I use for eating my meals with as well as making my tea I've got that in an ultralight hiker Dyneema bag at the moment I'm using the Tokes 550 pot with a 375 mil from Tokes on the inside, titanium. I've got bits of uh, tea in there. I've got a small sponge cut in half so it fits. And I can clean my pots with that. It's one of those non-stick scourers. A small 
lighter and my BRS titanium stone stove not stone so get that all put away now I'll do down in the description section I'll put a, a link to where I get these from everything from the pack the pouches um, the under quilt my cook kit or parts of my cook kit uh, I can't remember I think I ordered the pots from Tokes Direct but you might be able to get them local in local stores Spoon, I can't forget that. I need that. So that's the three main areas and the uh, mini bed kits. On this side, Again, from the Bushcraft range in Helicon Tex, it's the sear pouch. And on this side, I have my cleaning gear. I've got a sanitizer there, access to loo roll that side, toothbrush, toothpaste all in one there, a small towel, microfiber one. At the bottom, these are little compressed face uh, towels. You add a bit of water, open them up, and you can use them to wash yourself with. Now, just uh, really good there, I like them. And in the front here, I've got a little mesh pouch with more toilet roll and a pack of the actual uh, non scented face cloths. The actual ones are already uh, moisturized with a uh, cleaning agent on, if you want to say. Again, the pack was from Survival Supplies Australia. The mini med kit pouches, Survival Supplies Australia. The sear pouches were from Survival Supplies Australia. Uh, yeah, let's carry on around. On this side, this sear pack or pouch I just use for my spare batches for the camera, my cables for charging, just the basic uh, micro SD cards and things like that. But I love adding my pouches. It means that. This one now is set up for four days and I've still got room for more stuff to go in so I could use this for six, seven, eight days. I've got lashing points on top so I can take stuff out the inside and lash it on top if I want to which will give more space in there so I could go even longer if I want. This lid can be adjusted so this is pulled down we've still got without I'm doing it down there. This could go up that high, so we've got all this extra space here to also load the inside of the pack. At the top I've got my wallet in there, but I've also got a beanie in there, I've got my map. Oh, so I've just got bits of bungee cord in there for when I add my um, solar panel when I take it. These pouches, they're both the same pouch. They are the Navtel or Navtec, no, Navtel pouch, the Urban Range. I think I've got a label on here, it tells them exactly, so I get it right. I'm not looking inside, but in this, at the moment I've got my phone in there, they're not my, my keys to the car, but normally I'd have my charging, my uh, power block for charging my phone up, my camera up, and all my electronics. Emergency whistle on the front. My spot EPIRB tracker, which I have had to use. These mossies are getting worse and worse.
on this side I have my little notebook a pen I've got my headlight lamp in there which is a little pet saw one and on the inside I've got my phone and I still got a little bit more for anything else I need I'll probably fit two phones in there and still have a bit of space left and that's the note eight I think it is or something from Samsung that fits in there nice with a basic case on it here I haven't done a review on this yet but this is again from Helicontex uh, bushcraft range this is a compass pouch which is nice fits my Sunto MC2 in there easy and that's cinched down nearly all the way but that can be bigger you can fit your silver in that if you have to undo that a bit more Uh, you might be able to get yeah, also you can just fit a silver compass in there too one of the actual one piece ones and that's got a little grommet there there you can see I've got my line tied up on it so if I take the compass out and I drop it it's going to go nowhere so that's on my chest here that will be I think that's all on the outside oh there's two more things I won't be taking these on this trip uh, walk which is my saw my lapmander because I'll be spending a day in Collie or day and a half in between uh, catching the bus from when I get there and on either side I've got my knife but I'll be swapping that or these for just my normal multi-tool knife from Wenger the um, I can't remember but my brains turned off but anyway Back to the pack. Now, as you can see, let's loosen that off. Now it's done up more. We've got all this space on top. I've put extra things in. Uh, this is set up for four days. I've got my four days worth of food, which I showed the uh, repackaging out of the original packaging they came in to put them in smaller to make more room in the bag. And for when I need to go to ground for any reason, I've got my uh, Thermos Uber Air, which is the Uber uh, Neo Air Uber Light. A little Seat of Summit pillow, which is their Eros Pillow Premium, a regular size one. My DD Hammock Frontline Hammock, which is great because I use it as a hammock and also as a bivvy. So that goes with me enough everywhere and that's got my tree straps in there the whole lot another pillow but this is a down one for the hammock not really to support but yeah it's just nice like a comforter and because it pops up at the side you're not going to be rolling your head as much but it is it makes a world of difference from just laying on the hammock material that just makes it really cozy i like that big time and inside is my top quilt, which is some hammock gear. Now, that's out of the bag because it can be squashed down. But I've got to see what the temperature is going to be like because I've been using the uh, snug pack jungle blanket for the last six months or more. And as long as the temperature is not going to be below, I'd say, the 10 degrees centigrade, I'll be uh, bringing that with me because that actually packs down even small, smaller than the top quilt. Oh, and at the bottom, I've got my <coughs> bag with uh, my clothes in my pack. I may add an extra set in there so when I get into Collie, I've got some basic, not so much of a bushcraft or a hiker's clothing, more of a in between. Still, the, the closest I can get to looking like a normal person walking around town for a day. So let's put all this back. And in the pocket here, I've got my, I think it's the Vagabond it's called, from Helicontex. Vagabond, V-A-G-A-B-O-N-D. Uh, Vagabond seat pad which I've been enjoying using that and that's part of their bushcraft range too and I've got it all as much as possible matching mm. 
Now I haven't compressed this all the way. With it down top quilt, that could be squashed even more down. Go further down in there. And as you can see, I've still got all this area here. If I wanted to add more food, or like I said, with the extra clothing, we'll take, partially take that up. But I could, I could extend this for a week in the bush or more. There is a hydration uh, pouch pocket on the inside. So a little hydration bladder pocket inside, so we say not a pouch pocket. bottom which I've added is a couple of the Helicon Tix hydration um, bottle holders water bottle holders they're one litre ones so I've moved the uh, majority of the water out of the backpack the panel on the inside to carry the uh, hydration bladder and put them in put it in here so that's going to give me more space in the inside one if need be but it's also transferred the weight rather from the back, it's brought it around the side, but I'm still on my waist, but it just makes it uh, a bit more comfortable to carry for me. And another one, a second one here. But what I've got on here is a little dump pouch, which I'm just testing out at the moment, but that straps on the webbing of where the hydration bottle goes. I think the only thing left is I've got a couple of these Hydro Pack bottles which as you fill up, let's take the lid off so you can see the full size, you can get just over a litre of water in each of these and if not using them you can just lock them back up inside the, each of itself and I've just got it hanging off a couple of carabine, carabiners here which I got these and this again from Survival Supplies Australia. And the reason I get it from Survival Supplies Australia, they're, they're probably the best uh, supplier here in Australia for gear like this, for packs, bushcraft stuff, knives, uh, emergency gear, hiking stuff, food and everything. And it's only over the road from where I live, so it's local, it's like a 10 minute drive away. So I've got a carabiner on each side, which I really like because these ones, they've got a flat base at the bottom. So they just sit nice in the webbing there, without putting any stress or strain on the webbing. And everything else just hooks to the curb bit, the round bit at the bottom. So I do really like them. They're not the cheapest. They're about uh, 19, 20, 21 Australian dollars. But I, I do like them, they, they are good. So what else have I got on my pack? Ah, because I'm carrying the camera and the tripod. I've just added a little bit of Alco with a, a basic uh, webbing clip here, which you, where you can put two pieces of uh, horizontal or vertical webbing together. And I've run a, a piece of webbing through with a Velcro one. So I can actually put my camera through there, the tripod, and walk with my hands free and use my walking poles rather than having one walking pole and carrying the camera and tripod in the other. So it's just a simple, little simple modification I made. So that may help anybody else if they've got something like this. They can get this sort of thing and if you only wanted to use one of your walking poles a day and you've not got a camera and tripod like I have, you could put your other walking pole, fold it up or close it down and put it in there and carry it on the front. So you don't have to take your pack off to get it off the back of the pack. You can just do it from the front, adjust it, and start walking with two again. Very simple. I've, I love finding ways to make things a little bit better, a little bit easier to use. And that was just so straightforward and simple to me. So, and nothing else on the pack I can think of now. If I've missed anything, leave, leave a message down in the comments. Let me know. Uh, if you can recommend anything else or suggest anything else that I could do to the pack to make it better or or how you would personally do it that, that, that'd be great to read your comments that would uh, yeah 
if, if I don't put so much on the inside, I can carry uh, my hydration bladder on the inside. So I suppose I could get another up to three liters, depending on what I'm carrying on the inside. And the, these on the outside, that'll give me five liters. And if I had another one of these, which I have got another one, but I'm using it at the moment, I could carry one of these on each. So that would be, I could carry up to seven liters on this pack, just using it the way I have. So one, two, three, four, and up to three in the back. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's just showing you how I've done it and what works for me. And I hope it's giving you some ideas that you can make your mind up about how you're gonna do something in future, but not necessarily with the same equipment, but maybe with something you've got. And you thought, oh great, I can use such and such and do this with it, that'd be great. Let me know what you do, let me know. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and you have got something from this. And if it's the first time you've seen my videos or you haven't already, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell and the all. Uh, click on the like button and even share it with all your mates. And if you are already a subscriber and done all that, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.